What's up, guys? This uh, next video is going to be of uh, fight week, a little bit of the weight cut, um, things I was going through, work, and uh, weigh-in day and fight night. Hope you guys enjoy it. Still pretty rudimentary. Uh, I am a fighter. I'm no video producer, but hope you guys enjoy the content. It is Sunday night, and I got to fight Friday. Go weigh in on Thursday. I'm like five, six pounds over. I'm having a guilty pleasure of eating some tuna. Uh, so I'm actually sushi. sushi. Uh, I think it was a California and tuna uh, roll combo. And I got my favorite shit, which I probably shouldn't be eating. All this, but, you know, I got at least to this process a little bit. Can't be sorry with myself. I know I'm like six pounds over, but I think I can lose that this week. And if not, I can lose it on the last day of water. So, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this tonight and be pretty strict with my diet the rest of the week. Good morning, guys. Here we are in this backyard. It's going to be an outdoor kitchen here. Pavers. More pavers. Fire pit. We did this rock face last week. And then some turf over there. We got Marcus over here. We're gonna excavate at least six inches hey, it's, down. It is fight week, grad week, and pay week. It's a pretty good week. Yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Friday will be a good day for all of us. Yes, sir. I'm gonna excavate down six inches from the top of this pad to put some base down for some astroturf. Pretty sure it's for the dog to poop on. <laughs> so today we added a bunch of AB, which is basically just rock with fine dust-like material in it that helps compact. We added it in two inches at a time and packed it down, getting this place ready for pavers. And then we will add sand to get it very finely uh, smoothed out and then add the pavers, pavers down. But this will be a paver walkway and that will be like a fire pit area and this will be a water feature. And then your outdoor kitchen with pavers also all the way around. And then that area over there will be turf and then this will also be turf right there where marcus is excavating that dirt it's such a hard working wine man <laughs> he is hard worker though for real and those trees will be planted back here too still lots to come there's all our papers over there those were real fun carrying in here and back there and over there but yeah uh, starting to feel a lack of energy from not eating very much still about I weighed 160.5 last night with the bed hungry uh, so I don't weigh obviously that much now but whatever I do weigh I'm end up cutting in water so it has been almost 20 hours since I've ate and I'm about to get me a uh, chipotle salad with fajita peppers, chicken, brown rice, pinto beans, guacamole, uh, salsa for the flavoring. And uh, I went with guac too to have some fatties for uh, energy because I'm feeling pretty uh, drained. So yeah, probably the only time I eat today. Uh, and uh, see how I do a train tonight. You guys wanna see where I train? Yeah. Ben, the gym owner. Smile, Ben. <laughs> yeah, I think. Got more tie going on. Sparring night. Crew, the best Muay Thai instructor around. Be a little more trickier. Cool. But that's the guy you feel. You can 
Oh, going. There's Jake burping. <laughs> That's going on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a YouTube over there. I love this place. Some of my best friends here out west. Eduardo Castillo. So today we are going to trim this tree up in this nasty area to go chainsaw some leaves were some limbs were already down so cleaning those up for the customer haul them off probably do this very uh dangerously you know just a few days before the fight too <laughs> ironically the dump has one of the best views this place is full spot to build a house. The beautiful view. Well, it is Wednesday night. I just got out of the Muay Thai practice. And I weigh 157.8. Got three pounds to lose for tomorrow. So, looks like I won't be uh, probably eating anything or drinking anything. So, way. Looking fresh as hell this morning, thanks to 101 Barber Lounge. Uh, got to feel good, uh, look good, feel good, fight good for uh, this fight. Today is weigh-ins, but I'm just doing some small tasks this morning. Uh, go and check out on Airbnb, check it on the inside, make sure it's uh, good and clean for the guests. And they also asked me to go ahead and mow the grass when I could. And I have free time today too, so I went ahead and grabbed the mower out of the storage unit and I uh, figured I would uh, mow it while I'm out there and I've got the free time. Tried to fire up my mower and it would not, uh, it would not start. Uh, feeling a little discouraged about that. Uh, somebody told me I need to replace the spark plug. I took the spark plug off, cleaned it a little bit. I also went to go use my trimmer here recently, and uh, it would not start up either. It said all winter, uh, so prolonged uh, working on them. Taking thought about taking them to the shop or buying new ones. I literally just went and bought a uh, can of uh, starter fluid, and I took the uh, air filter off. The air filter off here. Get a little squirt. Pulled them, pulled on them, they fired right up. And here I had been stressing out about it and it literally took a uh, $5 can to fix them in about a minute and a half of my time. Don't know why we procrastinate on such small things sometimes and uh, when it's really just super easy. Y'all probably get tired of me talking about this gosh damn beautiful mountain. How can you get tired of that? This is so beautiful. Grew up around rolling green hills. Nothing like this. So I just got out here to check out the Airbnb. Honestly, I knew it would be clean. Uh, I'm really just here to make sure there are no mice turds anywhere. This Airbnb is pretty spectacular though. Comes with a Sweet view of the mountains. It's got a hot tub over there too. Probably gonna mow the yard out here and we'd eat the pathway too. It's super cold in here. But yeah, really mainly just checking around spots for mouse turds to make sure that the people, that when they come here this weekend, Oh, I think I found one. There won't be any, so. Yep. Don't see any either. It's extremely cold up here. Yeah, literally 
Only one mouse turned, which is nice. Yeah. I love that mountain so much. I'm a co-host of this Airbnb. It's an opportunity I was pretty graced with. Uh, honestly, one of the biggest things you can have in life is something called connections, networking. More people you know, more opportunities you'll have. Because I tell you what, didn't know these people at all before I moved out here. Map a snowball. What a lovely mountain. Take care of these crab weeds. Take care of this walkway. Ideally, like the spray. Cut. Boom, spray. This walkway. But, you know, I didn't realize how bad this walkway was going to be. Finally in Phoenix, weigh ins, 40 minutes away still. You know, just watch this BFC. Ian Hyde, RDA versus the beep. Traffic's terrible right now. We're hating it, but it's doable. Wayne's about to start. Ready to wait in and get some food. Okay, Omar Diaz. Okay, come over here and check in. And uh, Viva Steph. Viva. Okay, and Kareem. All right. Okay. All right, well, we're going to get started. So. Ladies and gentlemen, the max weight at 155 pounds. It is your second title fight of the night. Help me welcome Seth Stucker yeah. and Matthew Sablehoff.
crawling out there. Yeah, buddy. Make sure I tag this one as not a uh, family-friendly video. <laughs> they do the damn thing, though. Get this belt. Take it back up the flag. Hike the Grand Canyon tomorrow. Yeah, buddy. Calm before the storm. Boy. This is your Medical's going on. Yes? Okay. Even though you're all amateurs, you're all professionals. All right, you represent your gym, your sports, brothers, sisters, mamas. All right, conduct yourselves as a professional at all times, so we can keep doing shows, we can keep coming back, y'all can keep fighting, and we can grow in the sport. All right, y'all professionals, we're gonna treat you like that. All right. Steve, I'm just saying this. Uh, so a couple of things. Remember, if you're in an advantageous position and you cause a foul, okay, you're gonna lose that position. If you're in a disadvantageous position, if you're in mount, bottom mount, and you foul your opponent, you're gonna stay there. We're just gonna take the point while you're there, okay? Things you can expect to hear from us, you're not gonna hear a lot, right? You're gonna hear fight, stop, or action, or do something, advance your position. If you're in guard, and you're just hugging each other, nobody wants to watch that. So you'll hear us say, advance your position action, something along those lines. We need you to move it along and do something that gives us a reason to leave you down there. If you're in a bad place, if you're in a dominated position and it's starting to look like we may have to step in and stop the fight, and I'm worried about you not intelligently defending, I'm gonna tell you, you need to fight back. You need to defend. That's my telling you, you need to show me you're in this fight. I don't need a thumbs up. I don't need you to talk to me. I need to do something and show me you're still in this fight so I don't have to stop it. I personally- hey, hey, are you ready?
pro main event of the evening is for the vacant Rage in the Cage Lightweight Championship scheduled for three three-minute rounds. In the blue corner, with an amateur record of three wins and no losses, with an official weight of 155.8 pounds, fighting out of Dale Fit Chop Shop in Glendale, Arizona. Introducing Seth the Man Stalker! His opponent fighting out of the red corner with an amateur record of six wins and no losses with an official weight of 155.6 pounds fighting out of Southside Athletics in Flagstaff, Arizona Presenting Matt Sablehorns! Fight fans, make some noise. It's round number two. Look, 
my fans. Let him hear it. Let's go. Let him hear it. Say, Ben, to the camera after I get my thumb out of the way. This man's a warrior. Earned every second of it. That's right. Anything you want to say, Drew? I'm eating right now. <laughs> He's eating too, so. This guy's a fucking beast. Congratulations. I'm in the 45 seconds. Yeah. One thing. We're packed. That's right, oh, damn straight. <laughs> damn straight. Thank you. All right. Post fight pizza on the way home. Champ shit only. Three time champ now. What? Well, made it. Back to Rim Rock. Gonna get in the van. It's almost midnight. Uh, gonna get in the van and uh, get some sleep. And uh, hike canyon in the morning. So, yeah, buddy. I'm ready. I'm sure you guys are uh, wondering what's on my mind, and uh, not a whole lot, really. I'd say, except for the simple fact that hard work pays off, and it's very important about who you surround yourself with. And I can't. Thank everybody enough for all the love and support through social media and just everything in life. The text messages, calls, in person, and yeah, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm super grateful for the life I have and uh, everybody. In. So yeah, uh, peace out y'all and uh, I'll see you in the morning when we get up in like four hours for the Grand Canyon. So peace.